Welcome to Vermont Fish and Wildlife's Invasive Species Program LEAP. These videos and accompanying web pages will help you to locate, identify, evaluate and treat, and prevent the spread of these invasive species. This video covers barberry. There are two types of barberry in Vermont. One of them is called Japanese barberry, and one of them is called common barberry. Uh, they're both found in woodlands all over the state, and also often, especially at the edges of fields, the edges of woods. This shrub here is a Japanese barberry. This is a typical size for the Japanese barberry. They have these leaves that are, I think of them as spoon-shaped. They look like little spoons, and in these little, in these little rings and they have, they're very small and they have no teeth on the edge. They're very smooth around the edge, which is different from the common barberry, which does have teeth around the edges. They have a bluish color. Sometimes the cultivars have a red color, but they also are invasive and will turn green in the wild. And these plants have red berries that hang on all winter later in the season. They don't, at this time of year, but they will have red berries, they dangle down, and the berries are edible. Barberry has very small thorns that are hard to see, but they're very easy to feel. Barberry can come to dominate forests and woodlands. Aside from being incredibly prickly and spiny and a pain to walk through, it's actually also a very dangerous plant because they can house uh, very large populations of ticks, of deer ticks and deer ticks, as we all know, very often carry Lyme disease. Wildlife really do not like to eat barberries, and uh, they pretty much avoid them, and that can create a lot more pressure on a lot of the other native plants. Barberry actually can be fairly easy to control if you catch it early. And the plants, when they're little, are a lot easier to pull out, and you can definitely hand pull a lot of it or use a sort of a, a wrenching tool, but you just want to get out all of the major roots. Just make sure the roots aren't touching the ground so they don't resprout. sprout like hang it in a tree or put it on a rock someplace. Barberries are also sensitive to fires. If you have a very large infestation, fire or herbicide may be a more effective way to control them. Barberry is a quarantined plant, so it is not actually allowed to be sold in Vermont, and it's not legal to transport it around the state either. So I recommend not planting it, and if you have a barberry plant in your yard, it would be a really great idea to replace it with something else. One of my favorite plants to replace barberry with is shadbush. It's also called serviceberry or juneberry. And one of the reasons I like shadbush is it has really beautiful fall foliage, which is something that Japanese barberries are also prized for. For more information about barberry, contact Vermont Fish and Wildlife.